I'm a bit slow coming to the R. Kelly story. But, yeah. Um, apparently there was a documentary called Surviving R. Kelly, which was a six-part documentary, which shone a spotlight on all the allegations of sexual misconduct against the star. Yeah, I, I didn't realise that. I mean, in this oh, time no, where we're aware. about, we're settling in to watch the Michael Jackson documentary, yeah. it strikes me that all of these sort of, you know, the worm is turning. We've done the sort of movie industry and now it's the music industry, isn't it? Where, um, but I, I, I think there's been a big interview today. Yeah, there has, but I understand it. it has he been accused of en- enslaving or mm. setting up a cult? Holding or them up against the Holding hold- them hostage or something. Yeah. And that they're all underage. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty horrendous, isn't it? Mm. And is the I mean, is the evidence and, pretty watertight? And, and he was also a victim of child sex abuse himself, was wasn't he? he? Which he talks ah. about in his autobiography from when he was like eight years old. I think it was a family member. But is this and apparently being, it happened repeatedly over years? And is this being used by him as a sort of just just well, this was in his autobiography oh, beforehand. So, so oh god, so an abused. What was that phrase when they say the abused is the abuser? Mm, you know, like there, 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 there's a famous sort of. Yes, there has been a massive interview today. It seems to be breaking all over the right. all over the internet, and uh, I thought we'd take a look at it. It's just the edited highlights of an interview with CBS, where he goes into a very, very um, impassioned defence of himself, um, and everyone's talking. So has about he it. been? Is he? I thought he was in prison. Well, he was in prison, but I think he's out of prison oh. now. I think he's in. He's undergoing trial on two cases, which okay. he can't talk about. Uh, But I I do think this is, uh, apparently this is just an extraordinary interview. They are still talking about you with underage girls. Mm -hmm. Do you still sit here and say you have never been with underage girls? Can you really say that? I sit here and say this. I had two cases back then that I said in the beginning of the interview that I would not talk about because of my ongoing case now. Okay. 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 Fair enough. But... Okay. I will tell you this, people are going back to my past, okay? That's exactly what they're doing. They're going back to the past and they're trying to add all of this stuff now to that, to make all of the stuff that's going on now feels real to people. But the past is relevant with you with underage girls. Absolutely no, it's not. Why? Because for one, I beat my case. But I'm not talking about the one case in which you were acquitted. I'm talking about the other cases where women have come forward Mm -hmm. and said, R. Kelly had sex with me Mm -hmm. when I was under the age of 18. Mm -hmm. R. Kelly was abusive to me Mm -hmm. emotionally and physically and verbally. R. Kelly took me in a black room where unspeakable things happen. This is what they're saying about you. This, these, are, these aren't old rumors. Not true. Whether they're old rumors, new rumors, Why would they future say this rumors, about you? not true. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you have never held anybody against their will. I don't need to. That, Why would I? Well, I'm, How I'm, stupid would never be held anybody? R. Kelly? With all I've been through in my way, way past, to hold somebody, let alone four, five, six, fifty, you say it. What, how stupid would I be to do that? I didn't say you That's were holding... That's stupid, guys. I didn't... Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's right. stupid. Use your common sense. Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to, with my crazy past and what I've been through, Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement, and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. Robert, Stop it. Y'all Robert, quit playing. Quit playing. Robert, I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I, I'm fighting for my life. Ooh. Bloody hell, this R. Kelly story is vast and... Vast. And sec- Spanning and over s- a long time. Decades. It, and Lady Gaga actually had a tune removed that she did with Removed, him, yeah, she had a... Removed from had, iTunes. Well, she did. She, she wanted, yeah, because she sang that she did a, a, a duet with him, didn't she? Yeah. But um, it strikes me, I can't work out, if some of the earlier sort of accusations and, and um, trials against him sort of fell apart more on technicalities, technicalities rather than any resounding evidence that he... Yeah. I mean, the one with the film where they think yeah. it's a 13-year-old but girl... Couldn't but couldn't prove that she was a minor. She was... Still not... There's no doubt that it was him and he did yeah. the things that he was doing. 
So there's a question mark there. Then there were tapes yeah, found so we of child... Yeah, so we do know sexual intercourse, yeah. oral sex, urination. Yeah. We, we do know that there are other tapes that were, dis that were found in his Florida apartment, 10 or something, counts of, ch of creating child pornography. And the only reason he didn't get charged was they couldn't... They couldn't justify legally the, the search. search. So that's often that's a, technicality. a technicality. I mean, that's, that's paper thin. That's Come paper on. thin. I mean, there's a lot of... I mean, there seems to be as many people denying the cult mm. or that they were as ensnared within a cult as those saying, su suggesting there was a cult. So it goes back to this idea that I think that obviously there's, there's going to be there's the truth in there and then there's going to be exaggeration. Mm. And the problem with cases like this is as soon as they fall into the public realm... You know, we're drawn to all all of the awful accusations, aren't we? Mm. We're just drawn to all of the terror. But, I mean, there's, I hate to say it. I mean, it needs to go you to... You see here, that they're approaching for another... So they, they've got a number of women saying the same thing. Yeah. You know, that But that's what they look for control. in these cases, isn't it? Some of those early ones, um, reading about them, oh, you know, he was, he, he was controlling and mm. he was this and he was that... Yeah, unpleasant man, but I don't think really any of those are something you go to jail mm. for. But it just seems that he gets, when you look at the history, he just gets bolder and bolder with what he's doing. Yeah, it does and feel truly like truly horrific. And that is the pattern of an abuser, isn't it? They mm. become more and more sort of cavalier, if you like. Mm. Uh, and then right at the end, he doesn't even have the money hardly for his bond. Which is where is This is a that man now? whose life is in complete tatters. Which again makes you realise... And... Oof, and, you know, that's what we saw there in that interview, didn't yeah. we? I mean, that you could you could say, oh, this is a man who so is innocent and is in bits about mm. it, but I think this is also a man that knows he has probably come to the end of the line. Bloody hell. What a mess. Yeah. What a mess. Oh, God, can you imagine? Oh, God. Those poor... Well, Terrible you know, thing if, about if, it. If he did all these things that are said there, those poor victims, but also him, I mean, what... How depraved. I mean, what, what makes a person? But then you're also reminded that these are the people, and if the Michael Jackson story is true, you know, these are the people that have been found out. I mean, how many cases go unnoticed? Mm. How many cases go unnoticed? I mean, these are brazenly in the public realm and they're mm. public, public characters, you know, famous people. Let's not even think about how much of it is going Oh, don't. Just, 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 well, Let's just remind ourselves, there are more good people in yes. the world than there are bad, yeah. and that is for sure. Oh, I think he was being absolutely truthful to himself when he said, I'm fighting for my life, because he is. He is fighting for his life. So you would say he that. He would say it like with that. Conviction, conviction, but whether it is because no. he's innocent or guilty. And that's when being in a court of law as a, as a jury, that's, that's where you're having to divorce between, well, that is kind of true, he is fighting for his life, but mm. is he fighting for his life because he's done awful things?